SEO friendly URL structure. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you can craft better URL structure for search engine optimization. First thing to understand when we think of naming our web pages, which are called URLs, we need to step back and forget about Google, forget about search engine optimization, but rather think of our website visitors. As you can see on the screen right now, if my URL structure was along these lines, it just doesn't make sense as to what a person visiting my website will get on that landing page. So therefore, always think of improving usability when you think of SEO. Next, looking at this example, if I name my URLs along these lines, by just looking at the URL, a person can understand what that landing page content is about. That is the foundations of search engine optimization. Now, I have grouped very important factors regarding URL structure. We can keep it short. As I've said, can people understand what is on the web page by just looking at it? You can give hints using target keywords. So we're basically taking care of search engine optimization, part of URL structure, when we include our target keywords. So you can pause this video right now and reanalyze what I've shared in this slide. So let's continue learning about different ways of creating our URL structure. As I've mentioned in the keyword research tutorial, the keyword in the domain portion was the beginning for our keyword targeting. So now, if our domain does not include industry specific keywords, and let's say that we were offering repair services for electronic devices, I could create my URL structure along these lines. And we can see, you know what, that's okay. Because someone looking at a URL structure like this, they'll understand what that web page content is about. But for most websites, including for e-commerce sites, if we use structure level one, then basically we're limiting ourselves to a degree that we won't be able to grow our website targeting different keywords, you know, moving forward into the future, because that's what you do on your website, right? You create content on a regular basis because that's how you're going to grow it grow your business website with content. So although this is perfectly okay, it may become cumbersome as your site grows if you utilize URL structure along these lines. So let's go and see something a bit better. Here in this example, we can now say, okay, what if I categorize the, the services that I'm offering and perhaps I can create a category as and have parent-child relationships between pages. I'll show you quickly the WordPress example. Let's imagine I create a page and call this repair services. Then within this page, I could branch out as in link to Um, different pages related to repair services. So I'll show you how to do that as well. 
So now I can say, okay, the parent of that page becomes repair services. And let's say laptops. So I could do this. That's perfectly okay. Let's publish that. I'll quickly create another one just to demonstrate uh, URL structure. And here, let's say uh, iPhones. Did we have iPhone example? No, Apple Max. Let's say Apple Max. Apple Mac. Let's publish that. Now, with this example, when I look at the URL structure, I'll zoom in so that you see. That kind of gives cues as to, you know what? It's laptop repair services, right? By just looking at the URL. And yet, if I look at this sample, it really is not that great. You know, Apple Mac, am I selling laptops? Am I repairing them? Am I reviewing Apple Mac devices? So therefore, if I then say parent is repair services, the page is updated. Now let me go and see the URL structure. Now we can see that this URL is related to repair services. Make sense? Whereby the first example wasn't that helpful. That is how you start thinking about structuring your website URL structure. But what if we do something like this. Can we do this? Of course we can. So that's another example for you. At the end of the day, you just need to think of the real person looking at that URL structure of your website and can they understand by just looking at it. It's always better to group related words for search engine optimization and Google ranking purposes. And if we end up having some keywords in our domain structure, this example is still okay. But we also understand the keywords in the domain is rather important as I've highlighted in keyword research tutorial. So therefore, we can actually do something like this. That's still okay, but this would be better. As you can see, it's more clean. It's under services. Also, the word repairs is also in the domain. So therefore, I'm using them twice. I'll show you what we're talking about. So we've got repairs and repairs. Now we mentioned them twice. Same as true with services. And here there's another services. In this URL, you would then optimize the landing page to target these keywords specifically. So now let's go and see an e-commerce example. For e-commerce, the same principles apply because it's people who will be visiting your website. And search engines like Google can analyze the URL structure as well. And they rely heavily on words mentioned in the URL, page title, as well as within the content area of your web pages. Another example for e-commerce sites, let's imagine you did have a keyword that was related to your product. So you can still continue creating your URL structure in a meaningful, logical way. Furthermore, since most websites do have different file formats, how do we then structure our URL patterns accordingly? 
Now, this will absolutely be difficult for most website setups, including for WordPress. Because when you upload content, it usually goes within predefined folder structure. So it could be cumbersome for you to name the, the media file types in terms of making them SEO friendly. But nonetheless, if you do have the option to categorize certain file types, what we're seeing on the screen right now would perfectly be okay. Because someone visiting this URL will say, hmm, this URL contains PDFs. Very simple, very logical. Someone visiting this URL structure will say, hmm, I must be on a website that has videos on this part of their website. But as I've said, if you do have the option and you can include industry specific keywords, then that would be better in terms of Google SEO. Another example, let's imagine you are offering laptop repair services and you do have PDFs related to laptops. And as we can see, this URL structure compared to this one is much better. It's more meaningful. Make sense? So let me demonstrate again. Let's look at this. And now let's look at this. So this is how you structure your URLs for Google search engine optimization purposes. If you're starting out creating your website for the first time, that's great because you are in total control of how you structure your URLs. If you're using WordPress, the URL structure is within settings, within permalinks. And here you can structure the URL according to your website. Also, most content management systems do not allow you to make changes. When that is the case, then you have options as to ask yourself, you know what, do I really want to continue using that content management system on that web server? Or should I move on to a better one? Because then if you do have options to change the URL structure, perhaps that could be much better. Especially if you rely heavily on bringing website traffic, utilizing Google search engine. But regardless of how you're bringing website traffic, creating correct URL structures will only improve usability, as in provide better user experience. And as a result, search engines like Google will also reward your website by ranking it higher. I do have video tutorials that shows you how to do 301 redirection should you end up changing the URL structure. Remember, if you're going to change the URL structure for a website that's already published, then you have to utilize 301 redirections and you need to plan your change very thoroughly because the moment you change the URL structure on a website that's already bringing website traffic means search engines like Google will treat the new URL patterns as a completely different content. That is why if you do make changes, you actually have to use 3i1 redirection. And that is how you create SEO friendly URL structures. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.